What about this part? You think we should mix this part as well? No. That section is social distancing. Hey everybody! Hi. Happy Tuesday! Today is going to be a great day, I can feel it. It's also National Gardening Day for those people interested. If your gardens look anything like ours right now, they are trashed with sticks <laughs> and trees all over the place. What a great excuse to go outside and do some pickup if you can do that. If not, just wear a flower shirt like me. Yep, or like me. That doesn't have flowers. It's got trees. Look, mm, it's trees. Not the same. That was the closest I had. <laughs> Today's verse is a portion of Psalm 25. It's verses 4 through 5. It says, show me your ways, O Lord, teach me your path, guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are my God, my Savior, and my hope is in you all day long. I really like today's verse, this portion of Psalm 25. The psalm in its entirety talks a lot about trust, speaking to trust in God. And so in this verse, we see that they completely trust God because they're asking for God to reveal to them how they should live their life, the things that they should do. Praying to God and asking for him to send his Holy Spirit to our meetings or our gatherings or our time together is something that, that we do all the time, right? Like, we're constantly asking God to guide us in our discernment through our everyday actions and our everyday events. But what really struck me when we're talking about God's guidance is something I actually heard President Trump say just last week. He said, we're talking now about opening back up the world, the government, the economy, whatever it may be. And, and we're seeing world leaders all over battle with this hard decision of when to open, when to not, and kind of time frames. And I heard President Trump say, it's gonna be the hardest decision he's ever made in his life. And it struck me how, you know, we, we pray for our leaders, we pray for, for governors and presidents and world leaders in whatever way, leaders of the church, uh, Bishop Bill, for wisdom and discernment in these tough times. But when you hear them say about how difficult these decisions are, is when it really strikes home. It gives us a perfect opportunity right now to just pray to God for his will to be done, for us to hear his discernment and how he would like for us to proceed and for our decisions to be based on the solid rock of Christ. When we look at the verse in the context of today and we read it with those kind of eyes and it says, Oh Lord, teach me your paths, guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are my God, my savior, my hope is in you all day long. We pray for our governor and our president in these tough decisions and we pray for each other to make the decisions around us in our lives and we just pray that God just steps in and, and we make all of our decisions guided in truth and knowledge in him. Hey everybody, so for today's fun slot, we are going to make some salt dough crafts. Salt dough is like the easiest thing in the world to make. You probably made it 12,000 times. No. Okay, never mind then. Uh, I make Play-Doh. But it's really, really easy, so let us talk you through it. You're gonna need flour, you're gonna need salt, some water, then you are done. That is all you need. Okay, I'm gonna let you start. Okay. You're gonna need a cup of salt. Wow, that's called salt though. Yeah, just, just like how you make a coffee in the morning. Salt? Oh yeah, you're right. I don't even add sugar, you do. <laughs> I'm sweet enough. Are you salty enough? Carl tells us we're all salty and lit. <laughs> and next you're gonna need two cups of flour. The tall bag. Plop. Okay, we're getting close to the end now. You're Wait. gonna mix that up, then as you're kind of mixing it up, we're gonna start adding three quarters of a cup of water. We're gonna add it little by little as Kate is getting her hands in there and get it all mixed up, okay? What? You only have one hand. What about this part? Do you think we should mix this part as well? No. That section is social distancing. We're gonna mix it until it forms a doughy consistency. Did it anger you in some way? Like, I don't... I'm actually gonna lay it out here, so I'm gonna just put a little bit of flour across our worktop here. Once you have your dough and it's all ready, you're gonna kind of thin it out. However you're gonna do it, if you're just gonna spread it out and do your own little design with it, that's fine. For us, we're gonna split it in half because I'm gonna do my thing and Kate's gonna do hers. We brought a variety of our Christmas um, cookie cutters out because you can use them to make shapes or you can just design and make the shapes yourself, however you wanna do it. We're just gonna do some designing of shapes. Splatten it. Whatever you wanna do, but. How thick does it need to be? However thick you want it to be. Bear in mind that we're actually going to put ours in the oven. You could just use it like this and use it as kind of like a Play-Doh substitute and that would work fine. But we're actually going to bake ours to get all the moisture out of it. If you make it too thin, it'll crack. If you make it too thick, it won't bake. Yeah, we're going to bake them so that we can paint them. And we're also using little toothpicks 
so we can use them to cut and design. I'm actually going to make some things for our future escape room that I've got planned, and I think these might be good props. I'm making mine from my heart. Listen to your heart. A leaf. Oh, you're making Animal Crossing. Cool looking dinosaur. <laughs> I'm done, ready for the oven. I am done. All right, we're now gonna transfer these to a baking sheet, put it in the oven about 400 degrees, 10 to 15 minutes or however long it takes for you to just dry them out. You can also leave them out to let them air dry, but it takes significantly longer. We want it done. Here's our design so far. And we'll be happy. All right, so here we are. They are now dry. Yep, so... And crispy. Yeah, now we're gonna paint them. Here goes nothing. I appreciate that the dough is already a light white color. They're good for your design. You don't have to prime it. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Mine is done. Mine are done. We are going to let all of these dry and We'll be right back. So we uh, put it onto a nice little decorative plate for you guys. They're so cute. Yeah. Danny made some things for our escape room coming up this summer. Fossils. We also have some Animal Crossing designs. So I have a fossil here, the leaf, and a Prezi. This is a fossil once it's been assessed. Coin pouch. Cute. So that was our Salto Crafts. Hopefully you guys thought that was fun. They were awesome. Yeah, I like how we went for a different theme. You know, you went for totally Animal Crossing and I went for <laughs> useful Beaver Cross prop ideas. Well, some of mine were fossils. Yeah. So they could still be a prop. For those people who may be uh, coming to a program of ours in the future, you might have got a little sneaky look at some props that might be used in an escape room coming to you soon. Hopefully you guys make some salt door crafts. If you do, make sure you take a picture and get it to us. Email, social media, smoke signal, pigeon, carrier, whatever you need to do to get us that information. We hope you enjoy your time in the garden. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye! Bye.